Hello. This recording will cover how to format a Microsoft Word document so that it not only matches up to MLA style requirements, but also my own personal, personal recommendations for how to format the Track Changes tool that is found in Microsoft Word and which is what we use to comment on student drafts and essays. So pay attention because these comments I'm about to make will help us more clearly and effectively communicate about how to improve on your writing. The first thing I'd like to mention is that I'll be using Microsoft Word 2013 for this demonstration. However, you may be using a different version, say Microsoft Word 2010 or 2007. Or you might be using a version of Word that is found on a Mac rather than on a PC as I'm using. Uh, you, so you therefore might see some differences in the way the ribbon looks, but these should be minor and the basic instructions should still apply. Okay, so let's begin by formatting this document to match up with MLA style requirements. The first thing we're going to do is select the entire document. And the way I do this is by hitting the Control A buttons together, Control plus A. This selects the entire essay. The next thing we'll do is go check on the margins under the Page Layout tab. Your margins should be one inches all the way around. And this should be the normal template on your uh, document. But if it's not, make sure they're one inches all the way around. The next thing we'll do is go to the Home tab and correct the font and size of the font. In MLA style, it's either Times New Roman or Arial font that are required, and I prefer Times New Roman. Next, we're going to change the font size to 12-point font. That's standard. OK, next we're going to take a look at the Paragraph tab, and we're going to bring up a drop-down box right here in the bottom right-hand corner that says Paragraph Settings. We'll bring that open. And then we'll work on our spacing issues in this document. To start with, let's make it double spaced. Woohoo! Adds a lot of uh, space to your document, doesn't it? Adds a few pages. So that's always nice. And then we're going to add uh, for the before and after boxes, we're going to put zero point. Make sure it doesn't say six or 12 here, but zero. And then hit OK. All right. The last thing we'll talk about with MLA formatting is, and I know this seems nitpicky, but remember, the writer who pays attention to small details is probably also the writer that pays attention to the big details. And this affects your credibility with the reader, like good handwriting. So in MLA format, it requires only one space between sentences. You may have been taught to put two spaces in between. Nope, just one. And by the way, don't make the mistake of trying to fool your instructor by making the periods or commas a larger font or increasing the spacing to triple space, thinking that your instructor won't realize that you have tried to artificially create more pages for your essay. We understand it. We know why students do it. And it conveys a message to the instructor that you probably don't want to convey. OK, so now let's talk about track changes. And you might see this is what a Paper looks like when an instructor returns comments on either a draft or a final essay. It's not very helpful. It's kind of messy, actually. And what we're going to do here is try to make it a little clearer, a little cleaner, so that you can understand our comments. So please go to the Review tab in Microsoft Word. First, you want to make sure that track changes are on. And to explain, track changes are a way to add or layer comments onto an original draft so that when your professor makes corrections or additions or revisions, it doesn't actually change the, the original uh, foundational draft. It just layers them on top. You have to therefore go through each comment or change and either approve it or reject it. And that's always a good thing to do. Rather than just accepting them all at once, you never know. You need to go through each one of them. That's what the best students do. So let's make sure that is on. And then we're going to bring down this drop down box, change tracking options. Here, I want you to click all of these boxes if they're not checked. Make sure they're all checked off. And then next to balloons in all markup view show, you want that to say revisions. And then we're going to do a couple of other things in the advanced options box. So hang with me here. We're going to use colors to help us, again, more effectively communicate about the types of revisions that the instructor is suggesting you make on a document. So for insertions, we're going to keep that as bold, 
but we're going to make that blue. For deletions, we're going to keep that as strike through, but let's make that red. And then for comments that the instructor might make, we're going to make those blue as well. So basically, the idea is that anything that is added to your document is now a blue comment in a balloon to the right side, and everything that is deleted is in red. Next, well, I want you to uncheck track moves, as well as track format. Well, I should take that back. We want that selected. However, in this box, make sure it says none, because if you make it color or bold, it really creates a mess in your document. You do want it checked off. You just want this to say none. And then for the color, let's make that green. So any formatting issues like spacing corrections or anything like that will be now in green. OK, so that's how it should look. We're going to click OK and then OK one more time. And you can see the changes that have been made. Now, most everything in the document that has been suggested by the instructor is on the right side in a balloon. And you have nice colors to differentiate between what is being deleted or added or commented on. Now, you should also note that instructors often do not correct student essays. You really don't learn anything that way, do you? Instead, we will suggest that you make corrections and look at links or chapters from the grammar handbook, or we might even simply highlight a portion of your essay, expecting you to make the corrections on your own. After all, you've learned plenty now about MLA formatting and sometimes simple grammar errors that we think were just an oversight on your part that can be quickly corrected. We'll simply highlight those. And then you go through and either accept or reject each comment or deletion. You can also do that by right clicking on the comment and that gets rid of that. Okay, so now you can kind of see what comments look like in this system. We hope this helps. We hope that if you have any questions about comments on the draft, you will please contact us so that we can discuss them in more detail. Again, that's what the best students do. They don't just look at comments and then throw them away. They go through them carefully. They see what the instructor is suggesting, and if they don't understand, they contact the instructor. So thank you, and have a wonderful day.